Over the years, Disney has featured a number of incredible character actors in their animated films. And today, I want to talk about Howard Morris, the original voice of Gopher in Winnie the Pooh. Somebody call for an excavation expert. I'm not in the book, but I'm at your service. The Gophers. The name is McCard. What's your problem? Howard Morris was a cast member on the legendary TV show, Your Show of Shows, along with Sid Caesar, Carl Reiner, and Imogene Coca. Oh, yes. You take the uh, number six bus. It'll get you there in about 20 minutes. No, darling, you're wrong. My husband made a mistake. Number five is your bus. <laughs> Thank you. I beg your pardon. See, I've been uh, riding these buses uh, day in and day out. Number six is your butt. Well, I'll just go check at the information desk. Why don't you tell them number five? Number, five. number six is the butt you should take. Darling, I went to school in Riverdale. I know, I know that the bush should take a number six You butt. know that you you're know pretty that vague I know. about numbers. I'm not vague about numbers, and I know Harry, that... Harry, what are you... I'm not... Morris was front and center in what is probably your show of show's most famous sketch a parody of This Is Your Life called This Is Your Story. Hello, Al. Remember me. I used to encourage you. I helped you in those desperate years when you needed me. Uh, Uncle Goopy! <laughs> <laughs> He made a number of TV appearances, including a memorable recurring role as Ernest T. Bass on The Andy Griffith Show, a series he would also direct. Um, could you stretch that out a little for me? Ah. Uh... <laughs> uh, no, no, that was just for the throat. Oh. What do you want me to say for the ears? Hush. Uh... Morris would work frequently with fellow Your Show of Show alum Mel Brooks, appearing in three of Brooks' films. We will beat this thing. Goodbye. But, Professor, is it really Nessa? It is Nessa. I know what is Nessa. Don't tell me what's Nessa. I tell you what's Nessa. He also directed the pilot episode of Get Smart, written by Mel Brooks and Buck Henry. In addition to directing television, Morris also directed feature films, like Who's Minding the Mint and Don't Drink the Water, although most of his directing work was in commercials, in particular, commercials for McDonald's. services for yourself, huh? Come, 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 come. He says, right. You're welcome. Right, now, don't take such a beat on that. Yeah. Gobble. He said, thank you. You're welcome. He, say, he says, you're welcome. Yeah. Well, let's rehearse just that much. I will. Huh? Let Frankie pick this one up a little faster. Well said, Mayor McGee. Well said, Mayor McGee. Go. He said, thank you. Said, you're welcome. He said, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, that's what it means. That's enough. Ready to go. 88. 88. 88. 88. I'll start with my last And okay. Yeah. Roll. This is really going to be exciting. I'm going to watch it. Okay. Have some fun with it. Ready? Go. Uh... Let's see them wiggle out of this one. He also provided the voice for Mayor McCheese, and in the 1980s, The Hamburglar. Hey, Arch. Oh, I can feel a muscle already. Howard Morris was an incredibly prolific voice actor. Yeah, look. Where is it, Chuck? Yeah, it was there a minute ago. 
He voiced cartoons for Disney, Filmation, and Hanna-Barbera, among others. According to MeTV.com, he provided the voices for over 100 characters on the Flintstones alone. Let's give a really big Ed Stonovan welcome to our really big Western singing star, Tiny Tex Bricker. I'm learning a lot from you, Dad. Yeah, obviously a case of kindness. He continued working until his death in 2005. See what you've done? You got me in your fantasy and we're out at sea and a big gefilte fish is gonna eat all of us! Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it! <laughs> Tune in, swivelers! I got a treat for you, a new song by Judy Jetson. Uh, now the last question that we ask everybody in these interviews is how would you like to be remembered? As, as a guy who has been able to reveal certain things of humor and reality to the public, and also my great, <coughs> great gratitude for the fans. We've always been there.